So the MDS NMS has non-motor domains, and there are nine of them. And these, and then there is the non-motor fluctuation subscale, which is optional. So you can also use the non-motor fluctuation subscale additionally, which has eight key non-motor um, fluctuation related non-motor symptoms. Uh, we're also aware that the society also has the no more fast scale, which is a more detailed granular non-motor fluctuation scale. But the NMF subscale of the MDS NMS is very short and quite easy to administer and focuses on the top eight non-motor symptoms that one sees during fluctuation. In the rest of the scale, the format remains frequency multiplied by severity. So you determine how frequent a symptom it is. You also determine how severe it is according to the patient and the examiner. And then you get a multiplied sum. And then a total of the individual questions within the domain gives you the domain total. And then the total of all the domains gives you the MDS NMS total. The MDS NMS total reflects the total non-motor burden similar to the non-motor symptom scale total and the total burden has a very strong correlation with quality of life of patients and also carers and also in terms of administering it's very important that whoever is administering the MDS NMS goes through the training administration uh, manual and kit which is available through the society website and it gives you granular information on how to tackle the different questions because you do need some experience to handle the questions and the fact that they're only relevant for a month uh, before when you are administering the questionnaire. It's also important to ensure that if your patient is fluctuating that perhaps it may not be a very good idea to do the MDS NMS when the patient is off because you may, you may get very different answers to what when the patient is on. So it should be really administered at an optimally on condition. Um, and then you will get reasonable answers. And the, the questionnaire and the person who's taking the inter interview should be experienced in use of the scale.